if you are on social media saying that my video cast Bobiski. Bobiski no be person where he hide for Nigeria. As I was taking picture with him, other people were there too. Bobiski, Bobiski, Bobiski. I'm not the one that cast Bobiski. Oh. The security agents inside the airport, they are there. That's they have their office there. They saw him. So saying he, I, Isaac is the one that cast this, that no. Airport, no be secret place. Airport, na public place. So you saying, oh, oh, is Isaac that cast for Bisky? Eh, hey, Sonny, you na no get things to say. You na just want attach, atamo, atamo, put together. Nigerian guy, EFCC, they are just doing Kelebe job. EFCC officials that cleared Bobiski, they should publish their name. They should bring them, they should come and tell Nigerians, why did they clear Bobiski den of money laundry? Why did they only charge Bobiski for narrow abuse? So stop saying, I'm the one that cast Bobiski. I wasn't the only one that took picture with him. He was there. Uh, uh, police were there. The airport authority were there. NDLA were there. So stop saying that I'm all. Whiskey came out. So I have seen a lot of people that are blaming Isaac Payoshe. And they are saying that he's the one that alerted EFCC to arrest Bob Whiskey because of that picture that he posted. Wow. I got to London this morning. I feel very sad. Then the news that Bobiski was arrested, that wasn't right. That's abuse of his fundamental human rights. And I'm going to personally write a letter to International Court of Justice in The Hague. This is not right. This is wrong. EFCC cleared this guy and they withdrew the charges. We were shouting them, why did you withdraw these charges? They said Bobiski hasn't done anything wrong considering money laundry. It is only Nera abuse. And he has served his time. Why was he detained for a week by police? Why was he arrested last night again? This is wrong. This is very, very wrong. If you are laughing or clapping for them, this can happen to you too. Nigeria can happen to you. The guy has not done anything. He has not done anything. And if they are now saying he has done something, that means they need to investigate the EFCC officials that cleared him of money laundry then. This is wrong. Uh, and I mean, I think that uh, in a way, Bob Risky is also partly to be blamed. When you are traveling, you can disguise yourself. We've had a lot of Nigerians that are uh, trying to evade or escape. And the uh, person that comes to my mind now is Alamese, Ala or what's his name? Alamese, one of the uh, governors that was trying to escape. And he dressed as a woman. There are many, many people that leave Nigeria, like low key. They just kind of uh, disguise themselves. So I think that, uh, in a way, Isaac Priority is not the one responsible. And like he said, there are other people too that are taking pictures because Bob Risky is a popular figure. Now, if this was a night flight, it makes me question because in the night, the airport is not as packed or as full like that. It's usually a little bit more quiet because uh, it's busier in the daytime. Uh, so you might want to ask, ah, she didn't with this guy they talk, she didn't make sense. Because sometimes, you know, Bob Risky himself is someone who tries to show off and pose and do this extra girly, girly, girly stuff, which will easily draw attention of other people. Uh, and the Nigerian police force said there are other people there. And uh, like I said earlier, this is a situation of triple jeopardy. The person we don't go prison already, in our keep on for one week last week when uh, uh he was nabbed at the uh semi border and the fcc knows he was in custody throughout that whole week and now again 
they tried to apprehend uh, Bob Risk again, and they did successfully this time. So I don't think that uh, uh, Isaac Perse is the one that is responsible for this. And uh, like I said earlier in my earlier video, other people were also tweeting and posting uh, in other means and other handles. These days, like internet and social media, and even this mobile device that we all carry, has just changed the way the world is. And uh, your phone really can basically expose you. No matter what you're doing, you don't know who's taking your video, you don't know who's taking your picture, you have no idea. So people have to be watching themselves. And somebody like Bobriski, as a popular figure, needs to know. So the real reason EFCC arrested Bobriski was to further look into that uh, money laundering affair. That's what many people are saying. But if he was released, then, I mean, why was he caught on the way out? Then is it that EFCC is still under investigation? Some people have said that that's why that the investigation is not clear. Remember how the prison and uh, prison people came out and said, "Oh, they were done with their own uh, investigation; it's been concluded." EFCC never came out and said it concluded. So the investigation is not fully closed, and Bobriski cannot leave the country because it's an ongoing investigation. So that is part of the main reason why Bobriski was arrested at the Lagos International Airport, Mamata Mama International Airport, on the flight on the way to <laughs> to London. So, again, like I said, in the Bob Risky, I don't know if they have an arrest warrant. I don't know if they even need an arrest warrant. And Bob Risky should have kept a low-key profile. But in Bob Risky's defense, Bob Risky thought the investigation was completed. And I don't think he has have come out to say that Bob investigation, that investigation is concluded. So, too bad. And it's just uh, like uh, Isaac Farage just said, Nigeria happened to Bob Risky here. Bob Risky was dragged out of the plane forcefully. <laughs> so the people on the plane were saying they came to uh, economy looking for Bob Risky. They did not find Bob Risky in economy. Then they went to first class and they were searching. Because they did not even appear to have wind that Bob Risky was leaving the country on that flight. It was just at the moment, between the moment of that uh, picture with uh, Isaac Parashi going online and... As soon as that picture went online, and then they just got alerted, and immediately they jumped on the plane as the plane was getting pushed back. Uh, so Bob Risky claimed to have sustained some injury, but again, he was resisting arrest, uh, is what people said, people on the plane said. So, which way, Nigeria? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bata bata, bata bata, bata box. Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.